Everyone has a story. Stories about good people, strong people. When I grow up, I'm going to be a journalist, so I can tell the world about my stories. Today, we are going to talk about the uses of life. I know it is not going to be easy. Cecilia? To see in the house. But just like everyone else, I have a dream. Every step takes me closer to my dreams. Sometimes we have problems. Sometimes houses catch fire. Sometimes people chase us. However, we have good people and good stories. Habari Mama Yuji. Mzuri sana Cecilia. One day I will write about Yuji. Naja tembea, naja ongea. Mimi naitua Karen Mora. Naisi kuatanyayo. Ama yuji. Sangina jirani wataisa kutarau. Wana wana mkipea uyu, uyu ataisa sema, hirana ni namupea. Sasa inabiti uwacha kiparua, ndio mkai na mtoto. Chumundu hawezi kupali mtoto mwonjwa. Hata we uwezi kupali kuwacha mtoto mwonjwa kwa nyumba. Sangina kichichi kitaisa jomeka, na mtoto wako wako. Songabele has been in operation for the past seven years, since 2010, and the reason is because the government school around never had opportunity, they never had special units, and like today, uh, to take care of these children with disability, they never had special needs teachers, and they never had even facility to help them. is a good boy. So it doesn't matter whether they're with disabilities, or they can't walk, or they're normal, everyone should push along with learning to the best of their ability. In this classroom, we have two caregivers who help uh, the children. We also have a teacher who takes care of their academics, and uh, we also have two therapists. Uh, because these children, most of them have severe disability, and therefore therapy is a priority for them. Education comes second, uh, nutrition that, and then uh, the other things come after that. My appeal goes to everybody uh, who is watching this because uh, 100 Kenya shilling given to us will take care of school fees for one child. In as much as it's retro, combined with other 100 shillings from other people, it will go a long way in supporting a certain activity. <laughs> to write about Kevin. Three of his friends are dead. They were shot by the police. Mimi nilikuanga na kikundi mbaya. Na mimi enye nilikuanga street, nilikuanga dam side na ndola. Nilikuanga ni deck. So venyo alichapanishanga, mtayote ika halibika sana. Sa polisi, Wakapatanga kijana moja wakampigisha nini wakampiga lisa simbili za kichwa mwingine ya tumbo akakufanga hapo mwingine akapatango kashikwa siku ya kurukisha mwaka kaulioango kijana mwingine ukonga tu na yeye iko na ngayo maisha yenyewe si poa baya januari nikaka mingi huko ikaste 
Nikaona hii place iko sawa. Sasa inafanya kape ndio hapa mimi. Sasa ninaona nikimaliza hapa naweza fungua shule yangu, kaa hii students home. I would like to write about Sister Mary. In 1984, the parents from Mukuru slums came to us and they asked me and the Sisters of Mercy to do something about the out-of-school children. This is because the parents couldn't afford the high building funds. So in 1985, after going to the government, after discussing with the local community, the Sisters of Mercy, they began a small school in Mukuru Kayaba. Senior, you can see this village now. It used to be all single story. And now it's becoming double story and treble story. And there's absolutely no space. So the problem that's coming is the children are coming more, but the school can't expand because the land is small. Watoto wa mikuwa wengi. Sahi number ni 1,686. Sasa imebidi wasasi wengi watavute shule maali kuingine na shule mingi asiko hapa karibu. Because this school wasn't, wasn't able to cope with the number of children in this village, we asked the government for land and they gave us land up at Bakita. This, so we're very happy when we look at these children coming from a very deprived background and we know they can achieve anything. They can go to the top of Kenyan society. Our, our specific appeal is for support for children from the slums to access education and training. We need to continue to maintain the five and a half thousand children in our four schools in primary and the 460 children in this secondary school. In secondary school, they need about 250 euros. That is about 25,000 Kenya shillings per year. In primary school, we need 50 euros. That is about 5,000 Kenya shillings per year. This is to pay for the small expenses that we need. And because we have 700 children sitting for KCPE, we need a new high school so that most of the children of the slums near us can get a, high, a primary education and a high school education. So Cecilia, in 1990, 1985 we started Mukuru schools and then we found a lot of problem with the children who had diseases and when we were sending them to other clinics we paid a lot of money but then we never knew if they were treated and then some of the children actually died. By 1991 we had seen it was necessary to have a clinic so we have this clinic here and we also have a mobile which goes out to the slums and since we have this clinic, it's wonderful because we also do school health. Now there are over 600,000 people uh, in Makuru community, which is made up of um, 20 villages, roughly. So when you look at the numbers, uh, we're only scratching the surface of what's, what's possible. On Tuesdays, we have antenatal clinics for the mums and, and the babies. And then on Thursdays we have uh, hypertension and diabetes and on the other days it's general. Some of the health issues here include vomiting, diarrhea, typhoid and cholera, especially during floods. Most of the people here cough a lot. Some also get TB or pneumonia. Now, if people don't, if they're not healthy, then they can't work. Now, if they can't work, therefore, they can't live. For the last six months, we know that we're averaging about 1,800 patients a month. So when you work that out into weekly, it, it, it's quite a, quite a number. Uh, that's just at the clinic. Then you would add to that, in the home base, there would be maybe another 100 a week that we need to uh, attend to. And 
We would like to be able to have more facilities like in our laboratory uh, to pick up certain diseases. The next area we'd like to do is more of an outreach into the schools. Now we've got the four primary schools and a high school so we're dealing with approximately 6,000 uh, young people attending our educational institutions. So again, how do we help them? Blessing Kwamboka. We can't operate unless we have a lot of um, uh, subsidy because the small nominal fees that we do receive uh, don't cover the expenses of, of the clinic. So um, we're always looking for uh, new donors and new partners to help us. This project was started because there were a lot of unemployed youth around and um, they needed to be occupied. So they started doing all kinds of art. And at the moment they're doing sculpture with papier mache and with wire. And the gallery now is where the completed works of the artists are. Now also here in this site, we've got people doing catering, plumbing, uh, masonry, computer and hairdressing. And all of these skills enable them to get employment. Now Justin came to us and he had a lot of, ha he had a number of handicaps. So he couldn't use his, le his legs. So now he learned how to use a hand machine and how to sew by hand. And we're very proud of him because he has to overcome many handicaps. If you go in Kayabi, you'll see many people sewing and many of them are my past pupils. And some of them have a big, big business of making suits. My mom is a hairdresser. We will get them like we hope so. Anything you want to do well and you have to have the passion for it. Every job now needs computer. So our idea in computer was to enable the students to get employment in different aspects of ICT. And what do you do in this class? Yeah, I, uh, I prepare students for the office work. We prepare professionals. Uh, receptionists, front office managers. Yeah, we also do a lot of uh, office practice and uh, procedures. Having seen this class now and seeing the lovely training they're getting, perhaps you'll change your mind about wanting to be a journalist to being to studying for front office. No, I want to be a journalist. Una film nini? Boros kizu na du? Oh, squeezy. Mina funza journalism. Uh, mali pana itua Tangaza University. Una taka kujakuona? Mm. Twende nukupeleke? Ah, twende. Cecilia, um, I grew up where you grew up, and uh, one of the challenges that uh, I went through was. Uh, I grew up in the streets, you know, I uh, lived in the streets from 1990 after my mom died of breast cancer. And then of course in 1995 I came across a good Samaritan who introduced me to the Sisters of Mercy who took me in as uh, their child and I joined Bakita. So Mukuru Promotion Center, you know, they took me in and they sponsored me from primary and secondary school. I didn't know that I was actually uh, opening up my world to where I am today. Uh, my name is James Mburu and uh, we are in Tangaza. I'm a lecturer here in the Faculty of Communications and Media. So having, having dreamed to be a journalist, I studied journalism, I worked as a journalist, and now I'm actually here in Tangaza trying to mentor future journalists. I've worked with the Capital FM as a reporter and then I joined BBC, I worked as a producer, as a researcher and, uh, and a reporter. And then I joined uh, Al Jazeera, worked as a producer, I was covering stories within the Horn of Africa and the East African region. I'm really grateful to the benevolence of Mukuru Promotion Centre through the Sisters of Mercy and of course the myriads, myriads of donors who have actually contributed be it one pound, be it one dollar. It has actually gone a long way in transforming the lives of so many people who the society would, would have actually turned a blind eye on. 
Wow! Today I have met good people and had good stories, all from Mukuru. I believe my dream will one day come true and I will be able to share more stories with the world. My name is Cecilia Mothoni, reporting from Mukuru. A little help goes a long way. Help make a difference.